According to VE Chain's most recent report, the network is hopeful about gaining venture funding in the European market. One of the primary elements promoting increased VC participation, according to the report, is a favorable regulatory environment. I and the European market, the quantity of venture money going into blockchain initiatives is increasing. The VE Chain network may be among the best for capitalizing on available opportunities. The entry of venture capital into the blockchain market indicates that institutional investors are confident enough to pursue growth potential. According to VE Chain's most recent report, the network is hopeful about gaining venture funding in the European market. At the same time last week, the price of VE Chain was $0.019. It has moved minus 0.34% in the last week and is now at $0.019. In reality, VT has risen by 0.6% in the last 24 hours. The cryptocurrency market is slightly negative. Long-term sentiment remains positive and VT might reach $0.032 in 2024. .V chain has had a busy 2021. To make the most recent VT price prediction easier to understand, we divided it into two parts, short-term VE chain price prediction and long-term VE chain price prediction. VET had a trading volume of $34,630,789 at the time of writing. VE chain has dropped minus 22.91% in the last 30 days. In the medium term, our VE chain price projection for July 2023 shows the average price of VT at 3 cents and the highest potential price for July 2023 at $0.033. Furthermore, according to our long term analysis, the average price of VT in November 2023 is $0.033, with the highest conceivable price in November 2023 being $0.035. One of the primary elements promoting increased VC participation, according to the report, is a favorable regulatory environment, because it was one of the top blockchains in Europe, the VE chain network sought to earn a big slice of the venture capital pie. The network's announcement was in response to a recent Orion M. Depp analysis of VC investments in cryptocurrency during the last four quarters. The study also discovered that venture capital financing for European blockchain initiatives increased significantly between Q122 and Q123. What does venture capital investment mean for vocational education and training? Traders would be more likely to retain VE Chain's native crypto VT if the network garnered significant VC infusions. Such investments would almost certainly encourage further network expansion. In that regard, VE Chain has seen a significant increase in development activity in the last three weeks following a previous halt. VE Chain's development activities has recently reached a new high in the last four weeks. Despite this, investor mood remains subdued. The same could be said for VET's on chain volume, which was still recovering from its lowest monthly levels. Most traders are probably asking whether VE Chain's unique ability to leverage VCs will help VET's price action. The short-term prospect was that the remark would boost investor confidence and spark some demand. Given the cryptocurrency's recent performance, this may already be in place. Vet bears have been in control since roughly April 18, allowing for a 29% drop. They did, however, lose momentum a week ago, allowing for some upside. Its press time price of $0.019 marked a 7.29% increase over its current three-month low. VET's MFI did not reveal any major accumulation at recent lows. However, the ensuing rise has been limited, maybe due to a lack of high volumes. Regardless of the verdict, VET's long-term prospects may have just gotten a lot brighter with the chance of VC funding. The current price of Bitcoin is $27,362.29, with a 24-hour trading volume of $14.53 billion, BTC has gained 1.03% in the previous 24 hours. News about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum surged alongside cryptocurrency prices during a volatile trading day on Wednesday. BTC is still hovering around $27,000, unable to recapture its April high of $30,000. Nonetheless, Bitcoin is off its two-month lows from Friday. 
Bitcoin rallied near $27,300 late Wednesday after hitting an intraday low of $26,580, barely above its two-month low of $26,300 set on Friday. Bitcoin is still falling from its April 14 high of $31,019, its highest level since last June. BTC has lost additional ground since May 5, when a transaction delay forced the price to fall on May 8. So far this year, the world's largest cryptocurrency has fallen about 63%. Ethereum was trading about $1,820 late Wednesday, up from a low of $1,785 in the morning. Ethereum reached a high of $2,139 on April 16, its highest valuation since last May, and broke beyond the $2,000 barrier for the first time in nearly a year on April 13, following the Shanghai upgrade to a proof-of-stake network. The number two cryptocurrency is up roughly 52% year-to-date investments in digital assets are particularly volatile. While the fundamentals and technical indicators of cryptocurrency may change, investors should focus on the same main objectives. First, protect yourself by learning when to sell, cut losses, or profit. Second, be ready to profit if the coin begins to recover. Despite their original promise, cryptocurrencies have not served as inflation hedges. Instead, they've followed the larger indexes. To keep up with daily market movements, read the big picture and market pulse, during its strong start to the year, Bitcoin has continued to establish new 10-month highs. Bitcoin momentarily surpassed $30,600 on Thursday, reaching its highest level since June 8. Meanwhile, following its Shanghai upgrade to a proof-of-stake system, Ethereum recaptured its $2,000 mark for the first time in nearly a year. However, not everyone believes in the promises of digital currencies. Warren Buffett, the investment genius, still believes they are a risk. In an interview with CNBC's Squawk Box on Wednesday, Berkshire Hathaway chairman and CEO Warren Buffett maintained his negative assessment of Bitcoin, calling it a gambling token. The Oracle of Omaha has long been a skeptic of cryptocurrencies, frequently equating it to gambling. Meanwhile, the Bitcoin price remained close to $30,000 after reaching 10-month highs earlier this week. Buffett slams Bitcoin Something like Bitcoin is a gambling token with no intrinsic value, Buffett explained. But that doesn't stop people from wanting to play the roulette wheel. The desire to participate in something that appears to be easy money is a human instinct that has been unleashed, Buffett explained. I don't blame anybody for fantasizing about being rich rapidly. It's so human, yet once released, it's impossible to contain. Buffett and Berkshire Vice Chairman Charlie Munger have been outspoken opponents of Bitcoin. Buffett stated at the Berkshire Hathaway 2018 shareholder meeting that Bitcoin is probably rat poison squared. Munger despises 